I have launched the design environment for Ignition. And with this, um, to orient you a little bit to this design environment, you have a project browser in the top left. And underneath that, you've got your tag browser. So you can see all the tags in the system. And this is a live environment, meaning I can see those values coming in from the PLCs uh, automatically right there. Um, underneath that is a property editor that we'll talk more about in a minute. And uh, on the far right side, we have a component palette that has all different kinds of uh, components that we can just drag in and use on our screens. And so today we are going to be building a plant floor screen from the ground up. And with this, we're going to do a multi-phased approach. And so phase one of this uh, will be building a complete plant floor screen using only drag and drop. Uh, we're not going to get into properties. We're not going to get into templates or HMI optimization. optimization. Those are all going to be future phases. But to start off, we're going to see what can you build by just dragging and dropping inside uh, the vision module. And so with this, we're going to go ahead and create a new window. And uh, you can see here it's blank. And what we're going to do is we are going to um, start to represent these tags on screen. And so we'll start off here. Ignition allows you to take tags, just drag them on screen, and you'll get this drop down list of how you want to view that information. So this is a tank that I'm pulling out, so I want to view it as a tank. And you can see it automatically shows my fill level. Um, I see a percentage. I see it's animated. It's going up and down. Um, if I wanted to display this tank one temperature next to it, I can display that as an LED display. And then maybe I want a little label to tell me that that is a temperature. And so I can come over here to my component palette on the right, and I am going to grab a label, just pull that on the screen, and I'm going to call that temp. So, you know, with that so far, all drag and drop. Now with this, I'm gonna pull out another tank, do the same thing here. With this, I could even just copy my label and my LED display, pull them over here, uh, but see, this, this LED display is still showing tank one. I want it to be tank two. So I just take my tag, drag it on there. Now it's showing the right temperature. So uh, really easy to get going here. Now with this, we're going to say these tanks come down. Tank two has got a little valve in the way. So if I want a valve, um, like I said before, we have Symbol Factory, which is a library of a bunch of graphics that you can pull in and use. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these valves. We'll keep it simple. Just gonna grab this one and pull it in. Uh, with these, these are vector-based graphics, so I can, you know, come in here and I could move certain elements of this away from others, you know, whatever I want to do there. But what I just want to do is I want to resize this, make it a little smaller with that, put it in here. Um, and then also I would want to pull in maybe, uh, let's see, where are the pipes? I could pull out a pipe here and say, all right, where's my vertical pipe here? There it is. So with this, I can just pull pipes out, make them as thick as I want, and uh, you know maybe add a little corner piece there on the bottom. You'll see that pipes very quickly can become quite time consuming to draw. And so um, we won't do all the pipes for you today. But with this, I just drag that on here. Um, and I could, you know, continue on through this valve, have another uh, pipe coming down here from my tank one. And then we're going to say we're going to be pulling uh, the liquid out of this tank uh, from a, uh, a pump for us. And so with this, I'm going to pull out another graphic here, going to grab a pump. We'll go ahead and grab this guy. And with this, once again, these are all vector based graphics, so I can you know, drag these out, you know, these aren't going to get blurry if I make them larger um, because they're all done with paths. And so with that, I've got my pump here. And we'll say that the pipes would continue down into this pump. Now from that pump, we'll go ahead and say, uh, we're going to go through another valve. If I didn't want to drag out another valve and resize it, I can do control D, which is to duplicate, put my other valve there. And we'll say that those are all coming into a day tank. Once again, I just drag out that tag, 
show it as a tank. And if I want to show the temperature of that, once again, I can just pull that out as an LED display. Um, and once again, I could grab a label if I wanted here and pull that down. So with that, you know, we're coming in, we've got these flowing into that uh, day tank. And then from there, we will just uh, push this liquid out to some remote sites. So we'll say that the pipe continues and we will have uh, another series of pumps here. And we'll go ahead and use this vertical pump. And uh, another great thing about the vision module is see if I wanted to have these four pumps here, um, I could start with my arrow keys trying to line these up, make sure that they're all on an even you know field there. But the vision module allows you to uh, automatically, uh, you know, uh, align things. And also I could, to make sure that they're spaced evenly, I could define padding between all of these as well. And so we'll go ahead and give it a little more padding. We'll say 25. All right, now we've got all those lined up and spaced evenly. And then the last thing we'll do here is with these, I want them to come up into some flow meters. And so with that, I'll just pull two flow meters out here. We'll go ahead and just use this graphic here. In fact, let's uh, make this a little smaller. And then with that, you know, we'd want to be able to view those flows there. I could view those as an LED display once again. Um, I could add a label for the units of this, like uh, gallons per minute, that kind of stuff. And so with this, for the sake of this demo, I'm not gonna go ahead and add all the pipes for this and uh, you know add all the labels to this. But you see with this, we've been able to just drag and drop, create a screen. And when you finish this screen, what this could look like would be like this. So same idea here. We've got the two tanks. They're coming in through a valve. They go to that pump out through another valve to a, a day tank. And then with that, they go out to these four other pumps that are pushing them out to these two flow meters. Once again, we can see the RPMs of these pumps. We can see the gallons per minute um, going through these flow meters. And we've built you know, a complete process overview um, for our plant floor screen. And so Everything you see with this, this is all just drag and drop. You don't have to do anything fancy. Uh, you know, you can uh, pull in anyone in your operation. They can build screens like this.